Hello everyone, welcome back to Sawyer Studios. You might be wondering, did I dress up in a full-on tux just for this episode? Well, yes, you are correct. You are getting very sleepy. You will like, comment, and subscribe on this video and turn on push notifications on YouTube. Anyway, now that, uh, now that that bit's over, <laughs> um, but in all honesty, please, like, comment, subscribe, uh, or just like for the fact that I have a pocket watch from 1911. Yes, the Grand Piano Lego Idea Set number 31, or set number 21323, it's the 31st Lego Ideas set, um, but the actual set number is 21323. It's a plus 18 set. If any set is plus 18, this is the set that's going to be plus 18. It has 3,662 pieces, comes with a light sensor, a motor, and a ba Lego battery pack, so like, that's good. You do need six AAA batteries uh, to run the player part of the piano. Found that out the hard way. Went, I thought there was only three because I didn't turn the cartridge over and so I went out, got four AAA batteries, found I needed six, I went back out, got four more. It was a whole debacle. Anyway, uh, this is an amazing set. It retails for $350 in the United States. Uh, the box art is absolutely beautiful. Look at these red seats out here. The box art really doesn't do this set enough justice because as you can see, this set is pretty darn big and compared to the picture on the front, it looks nowhere close to that size. So like, this is a, this is a massive set. Like it's bigger than it looks. Uh, so yeah, once again, back of it, here are the dimensions of it. It's like 13.5 inches this way. It is 8.5 inches tall and then 12 inches going that way. So a lot of fun stuff to this set. Let's get into it. Uh, first of all, at this lovely little uh, piano bench chair, and whoever plays, uh, whoever plays piano and has used one of these, you can definitely tell. Like this is the style of cushion that every single piano chair has. Like they Lego nailed it. As you can see underneath, some nice Technic workings because, of course, every pianist needs to be able to adjust their seat by turning these knobs. You can see the Technic pieces pull back and the seat can raise and lower. If you have not seen my LEGO Grand Piano Play Star Wars trailer music uh, video, you should definitely go check that out because that was a really fun video to make and I practically showcased all the features and it was a fun, it was just a fun thing to do. So please go check that video out right now and then come back and watch this or finish this video and then check it out. So yeah, this is the piano bench. Uh, obviously bigger than you would have expected, like it's bigger than the, like it's practically as big as my hand. <laughs> uh, so really well done, just well designed, uh, how this is able to open and close. So amazing. Let's look at the actual, uh, grand piano and the dimensions of this. It's obvious. It's honestly a baby grand. It's not really, a, it's not exactly a grand piano uh, per se, but um, we have the wheels on the bottom, as you can see, uh, wheels swivel, um, but like any actual grand piano, the wheels are a pain. So these wheels are also a pain for this piano. Good job, Lego, for getting that correct. Um, down here, uh, it's very hefty set, actually. Uh, you can see we have the three pedals, only one of them works, the dampening pedal, which when you press down, it actually does what a dampening pedal is supposed to do. Uh, for anyone who wants to, just, you know, fun fact, uh, the middle pedal on pianos that have them, some pianos have only two pedals, but the middle pedal, and when pressed, um, only dampens the uh, lower notes. So this pedal that actually works that LEGO gave us, dampens all of the notes. And on an actual piano, if you press the middle pedal, uh, only the latter half of the lower notes is dampened and the top notes are not. It's sort of like a cool effect that you can do. This pedal over here is a muted pedal. Pretty much when you press it down, it just makes all the keys quieter. The hammers don't hit the strings as hard. So it's sort of like a cheap, a cheating way to play quietly. Uh, as I just showed, this 
uh, panel opens and closes just like a regular piano. I love the little Lego logo right in here and the detail, the red bricks across here of the keys, that is the red felt that you will see in any Lego, uh, sorry, in any grand piano. So a very close attention to detail there. So you have the red felt down here, which is beautiful. These keys are lovely as well. You can press them all like they all work and they all bounce back. Uh, if you actually look at how this is made, it is extremely close to what an actual grand piano looks like. So if we, you can actually take out two Technic pins down here to see the inner workings of it. And uh, if we pull this out, you can pull off this entire top. So you can see how this sort of, this works. That's one piece, and here are the keys, which the keys are actually like very accurate to what actual like piano keys look like. Here is the inner workings, and so as you can see, this is the these are the keys. And just like an actual piano, uh, when the keys are pressed, this hammer pops up and hits uh, the string, which makes the sound on the piano. These hammers are also very accurate. They are made of white and red felt, so you can see white and red are being used for those pieces. The uh, black pieces also work. This is just an amazing display of Lego ingenuity. Um, the keys themselves are, and like this is exactly what you'd see if you opened up a piano. This is exactly how a piano comes apart. Like. It is so gosh darn accurate to an actual piano. I just had to get this set. Um, and just like any piano, you always have that one sticky key that stays up and uh, and is really annoying. And for that case, it's this one, except it's, it's getting better. I've been fiddling around and trying to get all the keys to work very properly. If you look on the inside, you can sort of see the Technic inner workings, and that's pretty much just to show uh, the plain piano feature where the motor turns and actually lifts these keys individually so it looks like the piano is playing by itself. Uh, the song that it plays to, it doesn't actually like play the keys, it's just like a generic algorithm of patterns that it actually does. But anyway, so you place these Technic pins back in here that holds the piano together. Now, of course, on top, this is how an actual piano works. This lifts up as an option, and then you can open this side up. Let me show off that. As you can see from this angle, you can take up the little piano stick in there, made of just Technic pins, and place it in the holding hole so that it can stay open as such. Now on a actual grand piano, there would be a mini stick that folds out here as well, which would be the short stick. So you could fold up a mini stick and then have the piano hold open like this. Um, and that would be the, uh, the short stick. So not as much sound is coming out. Uh, it's not as dampened as if a pian pianist were to play all the way down, but there would be a short stick. And I think Lego could have done that. I'm a little, disappointed that they didn't, quite frankly. Um, the only way you can sort of have more of a short stick, um, have this open shorter, is if you were to do that, which isn't accurate at all. So you can only do this full stick or no stick at all. There is no small little half stick that can hold this open right here. Uh, but, you know, LEGO did their best, so that is fine. You have the inner workings inside the piano, right here, as you can see. Once again, very accurate. We have the uh, the brass, like, fit the brass circles here, the silver bolts and everything. And you have these strings that look very, very nice. So once again, all of that is beautiful. I'm just gonna fully open this up. Uh, this is an entire, this is entirely one piece. You can just take this off and then you can see the full inner workings of the piano. You have the small little uh, music stand right here, 
with these lovely Techno pieces back here to hold it up, which is very accurate. You actually have several slots back here with these uh, graded inverted pieces that you can choose how far up you want the stand to be. You can choose there, you can even choose it even lower. So that is very accurate to an actual grand piano. Except uh, the music stand part of it is not like, um, it's not connected to the actual stand part, it's stationary, which is okay. Just a small little detail. If I hold this up, there we are. As you can see, a better picture of the, the wooden features inside, the red felt, once again, the copper circles on the piano that help with the release of sound, the silver studs as the metal bolts that hold the piano together. Uh, each string, these are really hard to put on actually and keep them straight. Um, that is definitely a challenge. Uh, there are four different sizes of these strings, so that's um, I like how Lego try to at least do different sizes, that's very accurate. These are the pads that help with the dampening. So these are what dampen the string's sound. So if you press the dampening pedal, which is here, these raise up, as you can see. So now if you're holding down the dampening pedal and you play a key that hits the string, the string's gonna resonate longer because these pads are not on the strings to dampen them. However, the pedal's down, these pads are touching the strings, so when you play a note, it's just going to have a sound for a brief second, and then it's gonna dissipate. Just to show the inner workings of like how the keys work, press a key, you can see the, uh, because gravity is not working at this angle, you press it and the hammer hits the string and this goes back and down. So you can actually see, uh, you can actually see these keys uh, let's see if I can hold this at a slight angle, fly up. See? It's kind of, it's a very, very neat, like super, super cool how this works. Um, so as you have the, the stand, of course, the inner workings, if you were to open up a piano, you'd see something very similar to what you're looking at right here. Now let's look at the inner technic workings. As I said, there is a light sensor. Um, there is a motor to move the actual keys and then a battery pack. The way you access that is through the side panel right here. Super easy. Here is the battery pack that takes six AAA batteries. Um, this is the button that you hold to connect Bluetooth to your phone. You can download the, um, the Power Up Lego app. Uh, these are the two cords that connect to the light sensor and the motor. And if you connect to Bluetooth to your phone, you can actually play songs on the piano or have the piano play something to you. The sound obviously does not come from the piano, it comes from the phone. <laughs> so there's also that. Also a quick little note, there's a little nice printed, actually it's not little, it's pretty hefty, a uh, nice printed uh, piano piece right here called Play Day. And it says it's by Donnie Chen. Donnie Chen is actually the creator of this set from the Lego Ideas, so that was a nice little homage to him that they added his name in here. Uh, I've looked at this piece and uh, I, I don't think this is any piece that I recognize. It's a little, it's probably a little um, old ragtime ditty or something. Uh, so pretty much the way that the electronic feature works is that uh, you connect the phone to Bluetooth. Now if you want to play the piano, this is where the light sensor comes into play. Whenever you hit a key on the piano, the light sensor, um, uh, the light sensor is made aware that a key has been hit by movement. Actually, I guess it's a movement sensor, not a light sensor. Um, but it, it recognizes that something has been that something has been hit. So if I had my phone up here, which I understand why. They had to do this separate from the stand so you can put like an actual iPhone up here, which is a cool, a cool thing. Um, if I were to press a key, it would play a note. Now here's the thing about the you being able to play music on the Lego piano. You have your phone up here. You don't need to press the right note. You just have to press a note. And also whenever you press a note, a beat plays not a singular note. So the way music works is that you have measures and you have multiple beats in each measure. Um, a lot of the songs like Happy Birthday, 
Happy birthday to you is one of the songs that you can play on the piano. Now, because whenever you hit the note, it's going to play the beat. It's not going to play the note. So you don't have to go happy birthday to you to get to play. You just have to do this happy birthday to you. So you really just have to keep a steady tempo, a steady beat uh, while playing the songs on the Lego piano. It's not going to count those notes twice. Uh, it just is going to play the notes um, as you keep a steady beat. You can press any key that you want as you do that. So for those people who actually know how to play the piano a little bit, it's going to be a little bit frustrating uh, to play those pieces because it's literally just, you can just press one note at a steady tempo like this and the song will play perfectly fine. Uh, Fear or least, uh, it's, it's not da da di da di da di di da it's da da di da di da di di da Yeah, so, I mean, it is Lego. Uh, it, it's not complicated, so uh, it's a simple play feature, and I think that they did a good job for what it's worth. Um, obviously, they couldn't, put, they couldn't put motion sensors on every single note, and... I mean, they could, but that would be a really big piano. This set would be like $500 because it would be like way bigger, way meatier because you'd have way more sensors and it'd be huge, huge thing. Um, just a huge pain to make, uh, but that would be very impressive. So I don't know, like if you decide to make another one of these down the line, maybe make a bigger one and put motion sensors on all the notes and add more notes, uh, keys, I mean. Um, there's actually quite a bit of keys for this piano, for the size of it. Um, you can, there are a solid two octaves worth, C to C to high C. So two octaves worth of keys, that's, that's pretty good uh, for the, for, you know, Lego standard, that is. <laughs> then there is the player piano uh, feature where on the same app, you can go to listen instead of play. Um, you will pick a song and uh, when you play it, the Technic design that I showed you when I took the keys out in, inside, you will see like the gears turn. Uh, so the gears will start turning and because they're varied from where they, uh, from where they fall, the keys will, like random keys will start playing. So it looks like someone's playing the piano, but once again, the keys do not line up with the music. It's just like, uh, it's just on repeat of the same algorithm. So. Uh, it's not an actual player's piano because the actual player's piano, uh, most of them, the keys like actually move how they're supposed to as if someone was playing it. But this one's just a simple, once again, simple technic function that Lego added, which I think is, which I think is nice. And there's quite a bit of songs on the app actually uh, for you to listen to. Now, something I found uh, troubling for me is that you have to really work in the gear system and the keys. Like uh, originally when I clicked on play, the motors just made a loud beeping sound uh, because it couldn't go. So I had to take apart this front. I had to get the gears working. I had to sort of lubricate it. Um, I had to make sure the Technic pieces weren't too tight together and so there wasn't any friction. And then I had to make sure that these keys also didn't have any tight connections together for friction and stuff so that the keys were able to move freely without much trouble. So had a little bit of trouble there. Other than that, it was fine nonetheless. So. Yeah, other than that, this set is phenomenal uh, with its design, its architecture. I absolutely love what LEGO has done with this. It's so accurate to what an actual grand piano is, as I've said countless of times. And just the look of it, the style, um, the way it functions is so perfect and beautiful that, yeah, I, I would hardly change a thing on this set. For the size that it is and for what it can do, I'm impressed. Like this is a solid, this is a beautiful set um, and definitely holds, uh, I mean, honestly, the joy that I got from getting this, building this, playing with it, I think this is going to be up there on the same feeling that I would get with printed arms. That's the ranking of the Story Studios Lego tier system. I'm giving it printed arms because this is a this is a beautiful, beautiful set that I'm so happy that LEGO provided us. So, 
Yes, uh, thank you everyone for watching this uh, review. Thank you uh, for liking and commenting and subscribing. Not that you had a choice, I hypnotized you at the very beginning of the video. Um, <laughs> so please go watch once again my fun little video that I did with this piano play Star Wars music. That was super fun to make. Uh, yeah, um, if you have an extra $350 and don't know what to spend it on, I suggest this set. And I'm going to predict now, uh, this is going to be one of those sets that is worth a lot of money in the long run because uh, the way that this, the way that like sets inflate a lot is that they weren't really popular for some reason at the time they were out. I don't see this set being that popular, but once it retires, for some reason people want it suddenly. So this is one of those sets, especially the fact that people see that this is so small on the box art. It's a huge turnoff. I didn't buy this set until I saw it in person at a Lego store and like, oh wow, that's way bigger than I thought it was. So um, I think this box art is gonna be a huge turnoff for a lot of people. I don't think this set is gonna sell as well as some of the other idea sets, but because of that, I think it's going to inflate in price later because this is, this is a cool set. There's no denying it. This is an awesome, awesome Lego set. So Lego's just keep, Lego is just keeping on amazing me with what they're doing and their progress. So I think that's phenomenal. So yeah, that's that. Um, this is Story Studios and I'll see you all in the next concert.